So I'm just posting another video in a further attempt to help Awake Souls understand the point that he's still missing. And that is that the tilt axis of the Earth has absolutely no effect on the sun angle at the terminator on the equinox. It is possible for the sun to rise at 090 all over the Earth on the equinox, and it is possible for the sun to set at 270 all over the Earth on the equinox. And I'm going to make this uh, video demonstration as simple as I possibly can, and hopefully the uh, examples will uh, allow the penny to finally drop for uh, awake souls. It just seems to be the one point he's hung up on and he's still missing. So what we're going to have a look at here is we're just going to assume that our eyes are the sun. So now we are actually looking at the earth as it would appear um, during the equinox. Okay, and you can see that the tilt axis is actually at 90 degrees to the sun because our eyes are now the sun. Now what I really want you to focus on please is this angle we are seeing on the equator. Now can you visualize that this angle it's going up as we move from right to left but if we were to circle around to the other side of the the earth it's going to go down. Now, you notice what's happened it's gone from moving in an upwards direction to a downwards direction. Now look at this, if we do that with this pen, it's moving from an upwards direction to a downwards direction. Moving from an upwards direction to a downwards direction. That's what the equator is doing. It's moving up, it's moving around, and then it's moving down. At some point between facing up and facing down, it must be facing level. Okay, now where does that occur? That is occurring right on the terminator. This is the whole point of what people are trying to explain. The equator is moving up, right at the point of the terminator, it's level. I've got another diagram that will show that. See what we're looking at? We're looking at the equator going up, becoming level, and then moving back down. So right at this point, right here, where the horizon, sorry, where the uh, equator is level, is at the terminator on the equinox. Okay, and because all the lines of latitude are parallel, it's occurring with every single line of latitude. So every point on the Earth, the latitude is dead flat on the terminator on the equinox. Okay, you can see the lines of latitude are going up, then they're going down. They're going up, then they're going down. It's just that one instant point where they are level. Okay? Now when that point where they are level is on the terminator, that is when the sun is going to be rising at 090 and setting at 270 all over the earth because the lines of latitude are parallel. And when we have the equinox, that is what the sun is seeing. So the sun's rays are going directly from our eyes, directly towards the planet. And because this latitude line and all the latitude lines are moving up, as we can see them, and right at that point, right at the perimeter of the globe, that's where the terminator is. Everything that we can see is in daylight. Everything we can't see is in the nighttime. And where those latitude lines are completely flat, they're going up, they go level, then they go down. Where they are completely level is exactly on the terminator. And this is why the sun rises at 090 and sets at 270 all over the Earth. The angle of the tilt is completely irrelevant to the sun's angles on the terminator on the equinox. Because at that point, there is no angle on the equator or any other line of latitude. And that's the one point you're missing. And I really hope that uh, you do understand it this time and you can see it because uh, I'm running out of ways to describe this. I've pretty much exhausted my, um, <laughs> exhausted my different variety of explanations. But uh, I'm sure if we, um, if we don't get it this time, I'll try and uh, think of another way. I'm determined to help you understand this, my friend.